What is up guys, my name is Andrew, welcome back to Space Engineers, this is episode number 12, and today we're going to do a little bit of work on the ship. Now, with last episode, we didn't actually work any on the ship, we worked, a, well, we maybe we did a little bit. We did some stuff with this hydrogen tank here, but that's pretty much it, because we're working on connectors pretty much the whole time. Uh, but today I want to work on a little bit of the cockpit of the ship, and I haven't really known kind of the design that I wanted. All I've known is that I wanted the cockpit to be kind of up here, rather than down here. So down here would be a place where you could, like, walk around... There, there could be like a, a window or like something like you could be able to see out the side or something like that. That's what down here would be and then the cockpit would be up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of work. And I kind of like this design that I saw uh, on the interwebs. Uh, and I'll show you kind of what it, what it does. So it's kind of from this point here, the ship is going to kind of come in a little bit. Then it's going to go up and that'll be the cockpit. And it'll come down like that as well. So it kind of like gets skinnier as it goes up. And it's going to do kind of the same thing on the bottom. Uh, it's going to, except it's going to converge to a point or something or something like that. We'll see how it works out. But, uh, but let's go and start designing this thing. Now, last episode, we pretty much sorted out all of the iron that we're going to need for quite a while, right? So let's go back in here and, and you'll see we have loads of iron at this point. So let's fly over back in here and we'll go into our refinery and you'll see, uh, look how much iron we have. It's been actually getting uranium, but look how much iron we have. That's crazy. 116k. It's going to be enough for us for a long time. So let's hop in here. We're going to grab a couple of steel plates. Actually, we're going to grab as many as we possibly can uh, from there and also from here. So we're just going to throw those into our inventory. And that should be enough for a, a little bit of building. Let's hop on over again. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments and uh, messages on Discord. By the way, Discord is a thing. Uh, I have a Discord server. Links in the description. And you can feel free to talk to me there. I'm, I'm always responding to whatever you guys say. So that's a thing. If you want to give suggestions. Also, the comment section works as well. So, uh, But yeah, I've been getting lots of suggestions and comments about, you know, why are you using the hydrogen thrusters? Well, honestly, at first, I figured, uh, when I was first designing this thing, I figured it'd be a little bit too heavy to use atmospheric thrusters and also ionic thrusters. But, you know, as I've been building this, as I've been going on, I've been kind of realizing that atmospheric thrusters are the way I should have gone. Uh, just because they're going to be... Uh, they're going to be easier to set up, and they're going to be longer lasting. I don't need, to, like, a continuous supply of hydrogen. But, you know, I kind of like the look of the hydrogen thrusters. I want to see what happens if we keep the hydrogen thrusters. So we're going to keep them, and we're going to see uh, we're going to see how things turn out um, for us. And if it becomes too much of a hassle, like if we can't get enough hydrogen for, for all of our trips, then we will switch them out. But I do want to get that experience... Uh, whether it be a good decision or a bad decision, I do want to see for myself uh, what happens. Now, we might get hit here. This is looking pretty promising. That's a lot of meteors. And it looks like some of them are going right for us. So, is this going to be our first hit? No, it doesn't look like it, actually. It's a hit right there. Uh, and those went all the way past. As always, a little bit of lag always accompanies these meteor strikes, but everything's good. Alright, let's start working on the cockpit. So, let's go to our materials here and like i said we wanted to kind of come inward here so we're gonna we're gonna grab the tools required for this so let's go to number four here i believe that's what's required and we're going to is this that's not the right one this is right what's the right piece for this because that was the right piece for that to go inward but what's the right piece for this one was it it could have been this maybe well let's see i need to kind of I need to line up with that. Okay, so that, that does line up. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So that's going to work just fine. And let's go to the other side and do the same thing before we uh, stop using this piece here. So we're going to turn that around. And there we go. And we're going to use that piece there as well. But wait a second. Huh, this is weird. We had to use three of those pieces here and only two of those pieces here. Is our ship uneven? I believe it might be. Three, two. Huh. I think our ship's uneven. This is weird. I didn't actually notice this. Uh, but that that's not great. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to demolish this side. And we're going to make it imitate that side. So let's go ahead and demolish all these right here. And we're going to demolish these as well. These light armor slopes. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't actually notice that the ship was uneven. Uh, okay, so that's going to be there. So what do we need to do? 
We need to go with one more of these. Okay, so let's go over to our pieces here. We're going to take out our number three, which is the piece that we need here. We're going to put that the right way. Awesome. And we're going to put this one the right place as well. Once I get the right piece. There we go. That's what we wanted. Finally, go back to number three and we'll get this piece right here. Okay. Now let's add one more of these to each of those like that. And we'll get something like this going. That's not what we wanted. We wanted this piece, right? And that should be even now. But did we screw anything up? I don't think we did because we didn't increase the actual overall size of it. One, two, three, four, five. So that can actually be centered now as well. Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, fix all these up. Glad we noticed that now rather than later. That would have sucked. All right, let's get these pieces sorted as well. Okay, number four, we're gonna get this piece here. We need to turn it around to be correct orientation. It's, it's always just kind of like trial and error here with me uh, because I don't know how exactly to get these to be the right orientation. Is that? Yeah, that's good, okay. There, there, there. Awesome, wait. No, this isn't the right piece that I want. Is it? Maybe it is. Hang on. What can I do on the other side then? If I want to bring this piece up. Can I like connect it like this? No, I want to go the other way, not that way. Oh my god, this is tough. <laughs> okay, so if I go like this. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with these pieces and try and figure out what exactly I'm trying to do here. Okay, well, I finally found this piece. This is exactly what we wanted here uh, to work out for that. So that, that piece will work. Then we can put this one right here. Okay, so that's fine for that, but how do we do with, with these pieces? Because these pieces are a little bit weirder. Let's break that off. Uh, okay, we accidentally broke one that we didn't want to break here. So let's go to one. There it is. And put that right there. Okay, so for these pieces though, how do we how do we bring those up? I think we'd have to use hang on, let's see what pieces we have. We can't use these. These just won't work. Could we use so if four has these pieces? But that won't work either. Well, okay, well at least we have these ones right here. So how do you get the other pieces though? How do you get the other ones working? Like these ones right here, it's it's like a different slant. How do you actually slant those inward? Kind of like we've just done with these ones here. Like I, that's that's what I'm confused about. So if you guys know that, please post that down in the comments because that'll help out quite a bit. That's just one thing I just don't know how to uh, how to do. But right here we're going to, going to bring everything in, kind of like we're doing here. Uh, and then right here as well, we'll bring, we'll bring this in with the standard slope pieces whoops just like this and we'll do the same on the other side so no worries there uh, but let's let's continue bringing this in a little bit so let's go right here and yeah there we go and you and then just put another one right here should we I, I guess so okay fill these in thank God for the uh, super fast um, welder by the way. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, I kind of like that. It, it makes it look like if someone were to shoot a bullet at it, it would just go pew, bounce right off. But I'm still a little bit frustrated on how, how you get this side to work correctly. Because I'm not entirely sure. Another meteor storm? We just had one. Where? Where is it? Um, I don't think that's going to hit anything. If anything, it would hit over there, which I really hope it doesn't. But, um, but yeah. Okay. Let's continue bringing this up a little bit. We're going to place a block under these. Actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. We're all good. Let's go back here. We're going to grab the correct piece. And there we go. We're going to place these ones. A little bit of lag there as something hits. Uh, hopefully, none of our base got hit. That's placed the wrong way. 
Okay, let's turn you around just a little bit. There we go. Alright, how high are we at this point? And how high do we want to go is the question. Uh, is that good for the start of the cockpit? It could be. Let's go up one more. How about that? So, go back to our pieces here, and we'll just go up one more. So, one, two, nope. I don't know why they switch, like, directions sometimes. So, let's hop back over here and switch these around. There we go. Now, let's go to the piece that we need for the insides. And that's the wrong direction. I mean, I guess it, 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 it's hard to get any better when you're moving things around in 3D space. Uh, but it is a little bit confusing sometimes how to uh, turn things the way that you want them to actually turn. But I guess you get used to it a little bit. Like, I know that insert and delete will pretty much get me anywhere I want to go uh, as far as turning pieces goes. So here we go. Turn these around. Some, but just sometimes they're the wrong ones. Like, they, they, they swap the way that they act. And it's weird. Okay, here we go. And... Awesome. Now, of course, we need to do the same exact thing on the other side. But that's a good start for where we want our cockpit to be. So the ship's gonna... It's gonna kind of, like, go up like that. And then this is where the cockpit's going to start. So, of course, we can put some actual blocks down as well. So let's throw some of those... Down, which would be the floor of the cockpit. So this would be where the seat would be. So we're going to move that seat and put it up here. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh, let's add a couple more of these blocks. One, two, three. One, two. And I'm still frustrated on how to get these pieces to work, but whatever. We'll get them eventually. Whether it be by you guys telling me how to do it, or maybe by... Um, by me searching how to do it on the internet, uh, we will get it done eventually. Okay, here we go. And we're out of materials. That's fine, though. Let's move the seat up there, just so that we kind of know that that's the cockpit. Awesome. And where is our seat? Is it in this? No, it's not there. There it is, number nine. So, one, two, three. That's where we want it. So, kind of right here, I'm thinking, would be the best spot. Not exactly where the windows would be, which is going to be right there. But uh, not exactly too far back, either. Awesome. I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, the whole ship's going to look like a big juggernaut of a ship, right? But I think it'll look cool. And especially after we paint it, it'll look really nice. By the way, a lot of you guys suggested that we paint the thing uh, red. And so someone said red with orange stripes, which I think would look kind of cool if we if the whole thing were red and maybe we had like a big stripe of orange going through, or vice versa, it, it could work out pretty well. So, we'll, we'll we'll finish painting it once we start or once we finish the ship, we will start painting it. So, that'll work out pretty well. Okay, let's go get more iron. Just took a sip of water there. A um, little bit of lag as the game saved. Hello! Welcome! I'm coming here to get some of this. What is in the production queue? You're making all this stuff. Okay. Well, hang on. Let me make sure that you made all the stuff that you were supposed to make. 30. Okay, yeah. It made us a bunch of these, so we're good. Let's hop back on over to our ship. And let's start working. I should probably fix this, finally. <laughs> Fill in these blocks. Alright, here we are. I mean, what piece could go in there, right? What could you put here? Let's, let's look at our pieces. Do we have any in here that we, we don't have yet? Well, we don't have the curved ones, but we're not using curves, so that's fine. Yeah, we have all the pieces. And these are the same. Light armor. Yeah. So we have all the pieces. It's just what piece could go in there? Number five? Uh, maybe... That could work, actually. 
if I could orient it the right way. Like that, that was almost the right way, but oh, I think I may have had it. Nope. Yeah, that that's not the right piece that we want though. Okay, I've been looking at this for too long. I have no clue what piece would go there to, to fix that up. If you guys know, please, please, please post that down in the comments because I'm very, very confused at like, at what piece is going there. I thought I figured it out, but as it turns out, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. So, for, uh, for, for confirmation, just so that you guys know what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a piece that not only goes up like that, but also goes in, kind of like this does, so it goes up and in. So just a piece that would go here and a piece that would go there, and I'm not, I have no clue what piece that would be. So, maybe the game doesn't offer it, maybe it does, I don't know. Let's start filling in a couple of these pieces right here, though. These are pieces that at least we know how to fill in. Uh, let's put these here. And then it, it's got another piece that we're going to throw in right there. Once we get the thing right, there we go. One right there, okay. Then we'll put these on top, and the other one right inside. The, there we go. Why did it, okay, so see see that right there? Why did it just like switch orientations randomly? That's, that's annoying sometimes. Okay, flip you. I think we have to flip you. Yeah, there we go. And, nope, switch orientations. There we go. And then I believe right here we're going to need that piece as well. So let's throw it in three times. And then we're going to switch back to that uh, triangle piece. There's one, two, and three. Awesome. Let's fill them in. Hopefully we have enough iron. I think we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting the number of pieces. All right, there we go. So that's the front of our ship. Let's get in front of it. That's the front of our ship. It looks a little bit weird, but it's gonna it's it's gonna kind of come up to like a cockpit area, uh, which is going to use those triangular bulletproof uh, windshields, and there it's just gonna kind of keep going up until it comes to a point at the top, which will be kind of at this height right here. So imagine, uh, let's grab some blocks. And I'll show you, but imagine kind of like this high. One, two, yeah, about this high would be where it is. So it's gonna come to a point kind of up here somewhere something like that so it'll work out we're gonna get it done eventually um, actually let's see if we have those bulletproof blocks and we'll see if we can go ahead and do that but for now let's let's go up right here so this right here that's as high as we want to go let's delete all the other ones there we go so that's right there that's what should be the roof which let me think back boop boop should be able to make it or maybe it'll, I mean, maybe it'll be back one as well. Could just be right over the over the uh, driver's seat. Okay, let's head back over here and we'll see. What, what we're going to need here is we're going to need bulletproof glass. And we might also need um, interior plates, I think, for bulletproof glass pieces. Uh, maybe it's called window. Yes. So let's go to an empty slot. We'll go to number seven. And we're going to grab some of these window pieces. What do we want? One by ones, I think, is what we want. But we'll also grab some one by twos. Okay. And what do you guys require? Bulletproof glass and girders. Okay. I think we have some of those, so it's not too big of a deal. Girders, we'll grab all those. And bulletproof glass, we'll grab some of that. Awesome. Let's go and make our windows. So we're going to have two windows, two, um, two high of windows. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go for our number two right here. Actually, you know what? That's probably, that's the piece we want right here. So that, that's good right there. So we'll have one and then we'll have one more uh, layer of windows as well. Let's put this on the other side. One, two, three and is there a piece that I can put oh inverted might be what I want here is it maybe what's the what's the piece you put or maybe it's the same piece I put in there what is the piece that you put right there oh yeah that is that okay the inverted piece is what we want okay and we want that piece actually right here as well awesome 
So we'll throw that on right here. One, two, and there's be one more as well right here. Awesome. So that's our windows. Uh, we want one more set, but I'm not entirely sure if we can put those up without, like, a, a, uh, a block to go under it. So if I put a block right here, that, and we'll delete these at the, uh, later, but it'll kind of give us a an area where we can put stuff. So there's temporary blocks. So number two right here. We want the normal face, and we're gonna put it right there. So one, two, and three, and then we need the inverted one. As soon as we figure out how to put it again. I think it was like this. How did we, how did it, how did we get it to go perfectly where we wanted it? Do you, know? I don't wish to respawn. <laughs> no, thank you. It was the inverted piece, wasn't it? Or was it the, I think it was the inverted piece. Oh yeah, okay, inverted piece. There we go, one, two. And one more here. And then we'll do the same on this side. We might actually not need those uh, temporary pieces. So we'll go standard. One, two, three, and then inverted. Let's see if we can, there we go. That one was much easier. And one more right here. Awesome. So that's everything that we need right there. Let's go ahead and delete these pieces right here that we don't need. Awesome. There's our windows. Now what I might do as well is I might kind of try and bring it in on this side as well. Like kind of move in that way, I guess. Do we have enough girders to fill all these? It requires 11 girders per, so maybe not. Do we even have, we don't even have enough bulletproof glass. All right, let's fly back and we'll get a couple, a little bit of bulletproof glass so that we can get this thing sorted. That's not gonna hit our ship. No way. Oh no, that, oh no, we've been hit. Uh oh. Okay, let me just grab some materials and we're gonna go and check that out. That's not good. That is really bad. Fly. Oh my God, what if we got struck out of the sky? That'd be, <laughs> that'd be funny. Okay, did the first one hit, first of all? No, that looked like that hit right there, but the second one definitely hit, and it hit these pieces right here. It didn't cause that much of a of a problem, uh, but it did destroy this stuff right here, and that's it. That's all it destroyed. So, okay, we'll fix that a little bit later. Let's head back over here and start fixing up some of... Oh, okay, for a second. That looked weird for a second. <laughs> I thought it wasn't actually filled out. So let's fill out a couple of these pieces here. We have a, a bunch of girders with us. So we should have enough. There we go. So that's one side. I don't quite think we have enough for another side, but we'll we'll get a couple of them done at least. Because we do have quite a few girders here. Uh, but we're out of girders and we're out of bulletproof glass. Let's fly on over and see if we can grab some more of that stuff. Woohoo! I can't believe we got hit by our first meteor. I thought it would do a lot more damage. I thought it would completely like destroy the ship or something. But it wasn't terrible. Okay, grab all these. And do we have any more girders? We might have some in here, honestly. Yeah, we do have quite a few, actually. That should be enough. Of course, we need other windows as well, but that should be enough for the starter windows. For these windows. All right. There we go. Looking pretty solid. Okay, so you can see how this is going to connect then to up there. So if we go back to our normal pieces, and this is where we're gonna what we're gonna finish with here, we're going to place. We want to get to those pieces we're using. There we go. We don't have any steel plates, do we? Do we have any down here? Please, please tell me if we do. That's why I don't have to go all the way back. We do. Hooray! I didn't want to go all the way back for the uh, for the steel plates. All right, put one right there, there, and there. I'm kind of getting the hang of this. And let's put some in between these. We have to go to the other side. One. Oops. See? I knew that was gonna that one was gonna change directions on me, wasn't it? And one right there. 
All right, we can fill these in, and this will be the top section. Whoa, a little bit of lag there as we saved. Okay, now let's go back over here, and we'll grab the standard block piece. And this will be our roof. Kind of. Yep, just like that. That's going to be our roof right there. And uh, this piece right here can be removed. We don't need this stuff. But uh, but at least now we have an idea of where our roof is going to be in relation to the rest of the ship. So if we go and like look at the other ship, we can see that we have probably a couple blocks clearance here. And it's possible that the... Ow. <laughs> it's possible that the roof is going to bank down here a little bit as well. So the cockpit would be like the tallest point of the ship. That's entirely possible. It's also possible that it'll go up and the middle will also have more space. We'll find out as we build, I suppose. But here we go. This is actually starting to look like a ship. If you look at it from the front, I'm sure it looks uh, extra shippy. Yeah, kind of. Once we color it, it'll look better, I think. But for now, that looks that looks pretty decent. It honestly, it looks like a huge cargo ship, right? Because this would be like a huge cargo hold area where you could put something. And actually, in all honesty, what we might do is we might end up... This is just a crazy stretch goal, by the way. Uh, we might end up dipping this down here and having this be like a flight hangar for small ships like the one we have over there. We just stash those in here and then they'd come out from the ship from like a, like a hangar door or something. So that might be what we end up doing. Uh... A little bit later but for now if you like the episode hit that like button put your comments and your suggestions down below uh, be sure to check out my discord server uh, the, the link is in the description and if you want to ask about space engineers planet coaster or any any game we're playing I'm always there you can just comment something down there and I'll respond to you we have a little conversation in there so links in the description uh, I'll see you guys in episode number 13